This is 3B part 1. You've now completed the style sheet and it now needs annotating. This is what we're looking to try and achieve. The style sheet shown on our document with either handwritten comments or something like this, text boxes or some arrows, any way that you prefer to actually do it. Now, to get that file and to get that screenshot, we need to have a look at the file in File uh, Explorer. And if we have a look here, here's the file, it's a notepad file. If I try and open it in notepad, you'll see there's no text wrapping. Well, there is text wrapping, but it doesn't actually break on the correct lines. So it's very difficult to read what's going on. If you open it in WordPad, then it's much, much clearer and you can take a screenshot of that or you can just copy and paste what's there. Now, for some strange reason, OCR want this annotating to show how it matches your design specification. To me, it's fairly obvious that that is black, it's 100% and it's 50 pixels, and therefore it matches your design specification. I can look that up. But if you want to get the marks, unfortunately, we've got to jump through the hoops that OCR are asking you to jump through. So all I suggest that you do is that you uh, either put a copy of your design specification next to this, and draw some arrows to link up the different bits or you do something similar to this where you list each part of the design specification and you link it up with the part of the CSS file. You should also show evidence that this is an external CSS file. What you can do is take a screenshot of this area here to show that the index page, the home page and the style sheet are separate files. And also, if you go to the source code view, you can take a screenshot of this area here, which shows that there is a link to an external style sheet.